I have to tell you, I'm a step two engineer. Let's start with this. Oh, it's not. Oh, is this better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I, you scared me there at first, uh, Sister Dana, when you said I was the son of Sam. <laughs> <laughs> that would make me over a hundred years old. <laughs> so I'm glad you made that correction. Uh, yes, I am the uh, grandson of uh, Samuel George Dent Sr. Mm -hmm. He actually had a son uh, who was his namesake, Samuel George Dent Jr. And his grandson was also uh, his namesake, Samuel George Dent the mm -hmm. uh, But uh, I did not know my grandfather, Samuel George Dent Sr. Never met him. He had been buried roughly 30, 40 years before I was born. By the way, if you would hand me that package that's sitting right there on the sofa there. Okay, I want to put, yeah, perfect. As I say, I was, uh, he had been uh, buried for about 30, 40 years before I was, uh, well, I was born. So I grew up never knowing it. But I saw a photo in my house that my father, who was his son, the last of 12 children that he had, I noticed this photo growing up in my house, but no one ever told me about the photo. I don't even remember my father telling me that there was my grandfather. I just noticed, as you'll see in a minute, this unique photo, and growing up in Los Angeles, California, where my friend uh, sitting there uh, is also from I used to wonder why is the photo of that man in our house because <laughs> uh -oh. you know I grew up in Los Angeles near Compton and Watts yes, sir. that I part of town it. yeah I love it. <laughs> that I part of town I love it but uh, it wasn't until I was a grown man about 20 25 years ago by the way I'm not here by myself but the granddaughter of Samuel George Dent, Pat Dent Robertson, is here with me. Pat, All raise right, your Pat. hand. All right, Pat. Video she is from California, <laughs> Cal Cal Florida, with her friend uh, Rose <laughs> Bell, uh, who are here uh, uh, with them. But uh, Samuel George Dent, as some of you may know, and I'm happy and proud to remind you, if you those of you who do know, and to inform you, for those of you who might not know, as Dana uh, just told us, uh, was born, well, first of all, he was, she said he was a student at Morehouse College. But before that, Samuel George Dent, my grandfather, was born a mixed race slave. On, we are told, Evelyn Plantation, which I understand is across the street from Hoffa Broadfield Plantation. Eliza Field. I know my grandfather, or I should say I know my grandfather's uh, uh, relatives. We, 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 we think we're almost 100% sure with the help of dear Amy uh, Hedrick here, expert genealogist, we trace our roots back to Hoffa Broad Broadfield Plantation yeah. and nearby plantation. Yeah. So I don't know my great grandmother. She was one of the slaves. But Samuel George was born a mixed race slave, as I say. And for some interesting, uh, unexplainable, mysterious reason, as you'll see in a minute, born a mixed race slave, he decided to go attend Morehouse College. See. Not only did he, that, and that decision alone is interesting and unique, That's as you're right. gonna see in a minute. Because he looked white. But he, found himself at Morehouse, and if that wasn't enough, he decided and came upon the idea, I would say God gave it to him. You better say mm -hmm. it. Birthed it in his mind That's right. as a college student to come back here to Glen County, to Brunswick, to start a school to train and educate and equip the mm -hmm. sons and daughters of slaves. You better say it. And mm -hmm. thus was born along with the help of Ms. Bemis and uh, uh, Reverend Bleacher, Bleach, who was a schoolmate, I understand, of his, 
Thus was born Selden Institute. Mm -hmm. Yes. Selden Normal. Now, here's the interesting thing about my grandfather, and also goes back to explain why I was so confused growing up there in uh, Los Angeles and seeing his photo on my wall. I have that photo with me. And for those of you who have not seen it, let me show you the photo. Uh -oh. I'm not surprised. That's right. That's right. He came home. He came home. He came home. You knew he was black. Grandfather Samuel George did. Now can you see why growing up in Los Angeles? I used to wonder, what is this man doing photo doing on my wall? Stop it. Is he one of the presidents or something? Give my daddy a lot of money or something? With but as I say, he not only decided to attend Morehouse, but he decided while it was at Morehouse to come back and come establish back. Right. a school for the sons and daughters of slaves. Now, I wrote a book. I was so impressed, so moved when I found out this information about my grandfather that I was inspired to write a book at our last family family reunion, which was yes. held right here. We had a big family photo. There's over a hundred descendants <coughs> of his who were Wonderful. still living, Wonderful. Uh, excelling themselves and distinguishing, distinguishing themselves in virtually every line of work. Several college presidents, physicians, attorneys, lots of folks in his family, uh, ministers. educators like he was, mm -mm. ministers, mm -mm. preachers, and um, businessmen and entrepreneurs and, and, and the like. We were all here, we took the photo. But uh, the, the thing that was a, a mystery to me, and is, which is what, is what inspired me to write the book, which is available to anyone if I had request. Why did he do that? Why not? When he didn't have to. You see, there's a book written by, the author's name is Allison Hobbs. And the title of the book, get it if you haven't, if you don't know about it, uh, it will further illustrate the point that I'm about to make about my grandfather. <clears throat> the title of the book is called The Chosen Exile. You better say it. Allison Hobbs writes about mixed race blacks who had the ability to pass for white. Many of whom could not resist the temptation and did yield to the temptation to cross over, say goodbye to their past, and live the life of white privilege. Yes. Yes. Uh, in her book, she mentions the story, for example, of a young lady in Chicago whose mother, right. who's a mixed, ra uh, mixed race, uh, a black, who could pass for white. Her parent was very obvious to her parents, her mother and father, and intending well for her, intending for her to have a better life and not to have to deal with racism and Jim Crow and bigotry and discrimination and worse it. this girl's mother put her on a train and sent her from Chicago to the West Coast mm, the young doing. lady didn't want to go mother I don't, I, I don't <coughs> want this the mother insisted get on the train dear this is I'm doing this for your good uh -huh. she got on the train went to California was able to pass for a white for white married a white man had what appeared to be everyone thought were white children it came to it for a time when uh her mother contacted her and said your father is about to die would you come home for his funeral she called her mother and she said mom i can't do that oh man i would be outed i'd be taking too much of a chance goodbye mom don't ever call me they made a movie about that they made a movie about that Samuel George Dent had that opportunity. He didn't take and it. he refused the temptation. Surely it was his. Mm -hmm. And so it gives me tremendous honor. Yes, yes. 
I feel like right now, like most of us did on the inauguration of Barack Obama. You better say it. <laughs> that same feel. I haven't had that, this feeling since, since that day. It's such a historic moment. And I want to thank you on behalf of my family, Samuel George's family, for this honor that you have bestowed on him. And not only uh, commemorating him and this institution, but all of those that had a hand then and now in, uh, in perpetuating and extending this, this legacy. Finally, I would just uh, say this. When I see my grandfather, you like I say, I never met him, but I look forward to meeting him Amen. someday. Amen. Absolutely. Because the scripture says, uh, for the Lord himself huh. shall descend from heaven with a shout, huh. with the voice of the archangel, yeah. and yes. with the trump of God, right. and yes. the dead in, in Christ, Christ shall lying in sleep shall rise yes. first. Yes. Yes. Then we which are alive and yes. remain shall be caught up together with them yes. in the clouds, you and so shall it. we ever be with yes. the Lord. Wherefore, let us comfort one another, let us you inspire one it. another, yes. let us encourage one another. Let us lift one another up yes. with these words. That's the first thing I'm going to tell Samuel George Dent, Grandfather Dent, <laughs> Granddaddy Dent, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you yes. for not yielding yes. to the temptation. Tiffany Haddish, you know the actress yes. Tiffany yes. Haddish, yes. in the Netflix film uh, Hello Privilege. Yes. She, I first heard this uh, phrase from her. She called it the color complexion. The, 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 the connect the co complexion connection. I think I'll get it one of these days. The yes. complexion connection. connection. That's Tiffany right. said. I want to thank. Uh, I will be able to thank Samuel George Dent for not yielding to the temptation to cross over with the complexion connection when I meet him in that day. Thank you. Right. And bless you. Yes. God. Yes. Thank you. Yes.